Okay, now we come to example uh, 2.7. So this is the question given. Now this is not very clear. So to clarify the question, I have rewritten, I have incorporated some terms here. So first of all, he's saying 100 volt ampere, 120 by 12 volt transformer. So I have written it, it is actually the two winding transformer. Is to be connected so as to form a, a step up transformer. So this is our two winding transformer and this has to be connected to form a step up transformer and how we'll connect to form it step up like this. Now this is the input side and this is the up side, step up side. A primary voltage of 120 is applied to the transformer. Which transformer now? The auto transformer, 120 we are applying. What is the secondary voltage of the transformer? So that is the first question. We have to find the secondary voltage of VH. Then what is the maximum volt ampere rating in this mode? So we have to find VA of this mode. We know the VA is 100 volt in this one, but auto VA we have to calculate. And the third one is the calculate the rating advantage of this transformer. So we just saw in the previous example, the rating advantage was six times. So here also we have to find the rating advantage uh, between the two winding transformer and the auto transformer. So first part, what is the secondary voltage of this transformer? We know this is the formula between a primary and secondary or high voltage and low voltage. And from here, uh, the high voltage can be written as shown here. And now we'll plug in the value. Now see the primary is 120 and the secondary is 12. So the turn ratio will also be same. So we'll, for the secondary or SE, we'll write 12. And for the primary, we'll write 120 divided by 120 and multiply by the low side voltage 120 and therefore the out voltage or VH will be 132 volt. So this is the first part. Okay, what is the maximum volt ampere rating in this mode? So we'll exactly follow the previous example. This is the transformer. We find the current. Current will be S2 uh, or the power of the two winding. So that is 100 VA divided by the secondary voltage 12 so 8.33 and the primary also uh, the power rating divided by the primary voltage so 0 0.833 ampere and so these are the now two currents we have shown here now the auto transformer constructed from two winding transformer is shown here now this is the auto transformer we have taken this up and this is the auto transformer now and all the currents are shown now the secondary voltage we found out to be 132 volt this one you can also get it directly by adding the two 120 plus 12 132 the secondary apparent power or s out can be written as V secondary, I secondary or V high, I high from here which should also be equal to the input power which is also called S I zero and which also I am calling it S auto. So V S secondary 132 volt, I secondary 8.33 so multiply by this we got the auto voltage or auto transformer power to be 1100 volt ampere note in the two winding it was 100 volt ampere but in this case it can handle up to 1100 volt ampere this is the same transformer just when connected in auto mode the power handling capacity has increased and then the final question is find the rating advantage over the two. So just like the previous one, the power advantage S auto divided by S2 winding, 1100 divided by 100 from here. So 11 times power advantage we are getting in this case. 
Okay, now another concept that uh, we have to keep in mind. Uh, this was the, uh, let's say, this is the uh, transformer. Input volt is 200 and output volt we uh, want 220. So we can use a two winding transformer. This primary side will be carrying, uh, because if KVA rating is 10 KVA, so the primary current will be 50 ampere and the secondary current will be 45.45 ampere. If we connect this into this mode as an auto transformer, then what is happening? The current remains same, primary current here, the secondary current, but current in this winding is reduced to only 4.55 milliampere. So in addition to if we, if we connect or if we connect this transformer directly, then this winding should be heavy to handle 50 amperes. This winding should also be heavy to be able to handle 45 amperes. But when we, re, when we construct an auto transformer, then we can make this winding of very uh, light wire. It should only be able to handle 4.55 ampere. And this will, of, of course, be made with heavy wire. So this is what is being said here. The, if the voltage adjustment is by a small amount, either up or down, VP and VS are nearly equal. The currents IP and IS are also nearly equal. Therefore, the portion of the winding which carries the difference between the two currents, so this portion of the winding, can be made from a much smaller conductor size since the currents are much smaller, saving the cost. So uh, one we are getting the power advantage and the other we are 